Hey everyone, Matt here. So it's July 22nd and we're going to do the inspection on the Lands East Hive. And uh, what we need to look for is that the queen is laying good, they have enough space. And I think these conversion frames were going to be all full of honey, so we're going to take those out, hopefully, and then we'll scrape that um, uh, division board that had all that uh, honeycomb built on it. So let's just get in there and see. Seems like this cloth didn't work again. They just kind of chewed through it. So we'll um, which is weird. Well, maybe they didn't really chew through it. Maybe they just kind of worked their way through. So, I think last time we had some issues putting this together because there was not enough space. So I think we had to push the division board over and then take out this first frame. So let's try that. It's heavy. Nice and slow. You little buggers. Well. <laughs> so the queen is relayed in it. <laughs> I thought they were filling it up with nectar. But obviously there's a nice brood pattern right there. All worker brood. So she must have been looking for good worker brood and then on the back side here looks like they actually cut into like they took some of the wax away from there because that used to be all brood and it seems like they ate the wax away because it's now the the frames indented so now i'm wondering Well, let's just set this one down here. Because I guess now we're not going to be taking those frames out because they're full of brood now. Get out of here, wasp. Uh, well, let's see if they did the same thing to this next one. If they made it into worker brood, which I assume they would because uh, when they cross combed into the next one, you little buggers, yeah, yeah, you can see there, wow, that is, she went through and she just laid that side to side and then here's all this honeycomb which is into this next frame that they cross combed into. Uh, well, well, I wonder how much space they have then. Well, I'm just going to set this one out here and then we're going to go searching through and see how much space they have and if they need some more space but this one looks like this one and this one looks like it's pretty cross combs oh it's not too bad it kind of is So that is all honey. 
big drone size cells. There's some worker brood right there, right in the middle. Well, let's see what this next one's like because if they're building down underneath the lands frames, and that means that they probably don't have any place to build in the upper part of these frames. Oh my word. That is heavy. But this has larvae in there. I don't know what we're going to do. It is all capped honey. But they do have larvae in there. And this is where it did go. That protruded into this next lands frame. So, all wonky. It's nice and straight comb on this side. Yippers. So that one's got all worker brood right here. Honey band, worker brood. Same as on that side. The big, big circle of worker brood. They drew this out into the next frame too. This. Whoops, sorry buddies. So, another big worker brood section, but this got drawn into the next frame. This is not... The rest of that frame is really nice and straight. Let's look at that. It just seems to be that uh, where this kicked into that honey frame here, they went from both sides out into there. Lots of larvae in there. Well, that one is just all drone size. All drone size cell, they're just filling it with nectar. Yippers. Well, we don't know what to do at this point. That, I think, was that new frame we put in there. And they, they drew that pretty straight. They drew it pretty straight. Which is nice. So maybe I'll put one beside there. Maybe what I'll do is... Let's let's go inspect these last two and then we'll decide what we're gonna do. So that's got a bunch of pollen right where the front entrance is right here. Which makes sense to coming in, dropping off the load. We have a bunch of honey. assume the other front frame is the same way. So Wow, they got it's a nice frame. 
all through here is all full with pollen. All full with pollen. Same as on this side. So they got lots of pollen, lots of nectar, not a lot of space. So what we're going to do is we're going to take out one of these lay-in frames. So those two will keep. This one I think was the newer one. I'm going to do that out pretty nice. And that's all empty cells. Let's see if there's a... Yeah, so there's all, all eggs and all those cells. So that's probably going to be part of the brood chamber. So I want to put... So I'm going to put another frame beside that. Well, let's see what this... I think this is the... So this one does have all big drone cell size cells. So it doesn't, you shouldn't have that in the middle of your brood chamber, right? You want them to have all worker brood in the middle, not a bunch of drone cells or else that's what they'll do is they'll just fill it up with nectar. So we'll kind of put this down over here. Right, so that's all brush larvae in the front. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a new lay-ins frame right in there, which should be just part of the brood nest. So hopefully they draw that out into worker comb. Give them something to do. And then This one has half honey, that's good. So that one's got all worker brood on the front. So we're into the actual brood nest now. So we'll link that one up. This one I think has brood nest on it. Yeah, that's all nice new comb. <sighs> this one, oh, this one's a big monstrosity of misshapen honey. So I think, and big cells. So I think I'll take this one out in a way. And then uh, that should give them some more room. Let's see if I can just shake some of these off in here. That's not too bad. This one. That's all honey and stuff that and bigger cell size. So that's probably needs to go near the back, which it is. We got that drone cell size frame, this drone cell size frame, those two conversion frames, which are full of worker brood right now. So, so maybe what we'll do is we'll take this division board out. Actually, it looks like it's all capped, except for just a tiny amount right there. So maybe what we'll do is we'll see if um, when we put these four frames in here how much room is left maybe we'll just put in a, another normal frame and then like another normal frame right on the edge of uh, edge of the brood nest so let's just take that away so this one that's all misshapen we'll put oops right against the back I guess I guess we have to now put these brood frames back in with the uh, I'm just gonna cut this
Watch out. Just put that. Oh. Just cut that off a little bit. And then we will put this back in here. This was the one where they they have brood on this side, but then on this side they kind of stripped it out. Pretty much right there, it's that's plastic foundation right there. So maybe we'll put that right beside that one. Oh, there's got some comb here, some cross combing right there. Right, we'll kind of clean that off, and then that'll, I guess, will be the end of the brood nest. And then maybe they'll do those for honey. So we do got a full frame in there. So this one, let's see this one go in. This is that big drone cell one. So hopefully they fill this up with nectar. We might have enough space for one more. Let's put this, this kind of bulbous thing doesn't really fit there. But I think if I, if I cut this off a little bit and then put it right against where that honey is, then they won't uh, draw that out anymore. Give this a quick trim. It's gonna be messy. Watch out, peoples. So I'll put that right up against the edge of this other frame here and then they won't draw that out so much. So I think really we do have enough room for one more frame. And then we'll have a little thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it think right in here just want to find a good where that good brood frame is yeah so I think right here is between it was really well it's capped honey at the top and then brood frames in the bottom so we'll throw another one in here and that's kind of in the brood nest area also so hopefully they'll fill that one out as worker comb so let's just all close these guys back up and there's just a little thing there I think I got a little spacious shim there I can put in there but let's just kind of so here's this little shim which I guess I could kind of force it in there that's the center of the laying types so that's pretty clean now I just wiped out a bunch of the nectar and honey that I spilt and it seems that the only spot that now the Land's east hive can come up into here is through where the frame rest of the deep conversion frame comes up. So I'm just going to shove a rock in there so that they can't get through there. Same with this other one and then next time we open this up there should be no no bees up in the top here. Okay, good to go.